thanks for joining me for Tassel Tuesday. Tassel Tuesday is an open collaboration, so if you want to join in, you can do that anytime. I host Tassel Tuesday two times per month on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month. I will have a list of participants in my description box, so if you want to jump in anytime, you can do that. Just let me know that you're going to jump in so I don't miss your video. Use the hashtag Tassel Tuesday and then link my channel in your description box and I will link your channel in my description box. I have a little bit of a different setup today because my house is still an utter mess. So before we get into Tassel Tuesday, I'll give you a quick update on what is going on. So welcome to Tassel Tuesday and if you are new, thank you for checking out my channel and checking out my video and my tassels. And if you are one of my returning friends, I appreciate you very, very much. I just want to let you all know that. So let's give you a quick update before we get started on the tassel. Uh, still working on the craft room. Now today I am shooting this video on Saturday, March 5th. So this will go out the following Tuesday. So the plan for today, I figured I'd get up in the morning before Amanda got up and because she's going to help me pour the countertops. And it's, it's a resin that we're pouring and she works with it on a small scale, but she helped do the first layer and I learned so much doing the first layer. And now I'm not afraid of it because on a countertop it's a big scale and it's quite an undertaking if you've never done it before. And of course I had never done it before uh, and I didn't practice and I'm just like that. I just like to jump in and just do things. So it, it's, a, it's a big project but it's also really cool and exciting because the epoxy is obviously liquid and then you can put these different colors in it and you can work it and uh, it, it's just very interesting and I think it would be something fun to play with in the future because uh, there's a lot you can do with it. So anyway, hoping to pour the second coat of the countertop today, this morning actually. So once you pour it, then you let it um, not dry, but you let it kind of harden a little bit for three hours and then you pull the tape off the edges and then it drips over the edges and it covers your edge and so it's it's kind of a lengthy process so last week we did the first coat and I was up till like 1 in the morning on Sunday because we didn't start till 5 p.m. and I was so exhausted all week because of that so anyways it it's it's a challenge but it'll be a lot of fun to do so I'm looking forward to getting that buttoned up because once that's done then I'm going to ask hubby to drill holes to put the um, knobs in and oh he just sneezed if you heard that sorry <laughs> bless you and um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard him but he said hello friends so I'm going to ask him to drill the holes for the knobs and oh, we have two more cabinets to put on underneath on the wall that has a window in it and then I think I'm not going to do cabinets all the way across on the big wall but I bought some floating shelves but I'm not going to put those up right away until I can see where everything's going and what I need them for and I'm thinking I have my stuff over here I'm thinking um, I might use them for little jars of my markers um, colored pens paint brushes glue sticks stuff like that so that's my thought as far as that goes so and then also I want him to put up a window treatment for me the hardware for it and of course I'll put the window treatment up um, and then I think I mean I think that's it then I just have to you know get the rest of my stuff into the room which is time-consuming because as I'm doing that I'm going through it and um, you know my son said mom if it doesn't fit you you got to get rid of it so so far I have fit everything in there but I'm not done my living room has stuff in it if I showed you guys around you would see my living room has stuff in it my dining room still has stuff in it so I have a, a bit of a ways to go so 
that's the update on the craft room. So it's exciting. We're getting close. We are definitely more than 50% done. We're probably 75% done, which is fantastic. So what else can I update you guys on? Friends, while we're getting caught up on things, I wanted to show you this painting that I did. So me and Amanda and Nick were doing a Bob Ross video. We were watching Bob Ross video and painting along with it. So this was the first one that I created. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out and it was so much fun. Now the next one that I did, I did it on a bigger canvas. So I think that it wasn't quite as, um, it wasn't quite as easy for me to finagle it and it's not done as you can see but let me let me tell you a little bit about it what I'm happy about is the sky um, I really had to work on the trees but I'm relatively happy with them I'd like to go in and add a little more highlighting to the branches uh, of the trees I'm not thrilled the the water's okay I'm not thrilled with the bank and I'm not thrilled with how it comes down like so straight right here so I might change that a little I'm not 100% sure and I'm not finished with this part which is like the um you know it's the grassy area there's something they call that but anyway I need to add some flowers in here and actually somewhere in here I think right about here on the other side of the bridge there's like a bush and I hate it. I'm not happy with that at all. So let me show it to you up close and you'll see why. Look, look at it. It's ridiculous looking. <laughs> that's the most ridiculous bush I've ever seen in my life. So that's pretty bad. Let me see what else can I show you up close about it. So you kind of can see how this is like so straight and I don't think I love that. Uh, it might be more natural if it kind of came out this way a little bit. So if I have time, I don't have a lot of time, but if I have time at some point, I'll go ahead and fix this and add some flowers to that. So anyway, friends, I just wanted to share something that I've been doing on the weekends with Amanda and Nick and having a really good time doing it. I'm not wearing the wig. My, you guys remember when I did my Bob Ross video and I was doing collage to it and I was acting like Bob? Well, I'm not wearing my wig while I paint. But, you know, maybe that will help me make better paintings. I don't know. But anyway, lots of fun. Just wanted to share that with you. The weather's been hot. It's 85 degrees today. So we go straight from winter into hot summer. We, we really don't get much spring. But the pollen is falling, so everything's covered in pollen right now. And we haven't had rain in a while, and it's always nice to get rain in the springtime because it does help to rinse the pollen out of the trees and stuff. So that's what we've got going on down here in Florida. I'm in Florida in case you didn't know, but that's what we've got going on down here in Florida. And uh, family's doing good. Uh, really not, not too much new with the fam, uh, but everybody's doing, doing really well. And so let's get to Tassel Tuesday. So I have a little riddle for you. What do you get when you have a bear in your house on Tassel Tuesday? Well, of course, the answer is a bear tassel. Look at this cutie that I made. I'm going to lift it up so you can see the bottom part. Isn't it so pretty? I'm absolutely in love with it. So let me break this down a little bit for you. So I'm presenting this in different way than I usually do. I'm usually, you know, I have it spread out on the table. So hopefully this will work for us. So my stepfather found this bear salt and pepper shaker and there's the little holes for the salt or the pepper. And as you can see, it's a little bear. Let me turn him around like he's in a fashion show. Isn't it so cute? So it's like a teddy bear because you can see like this would be the stitching right here. And he's got a little bow tie. He or she's got a little bow tie or a little bow. I guess I should say a little yellow bow. So because of the yellow bow, I decided to go with yellow trim. So what I've got here is I have some 100% cotton. This is yellow with white polka dots. Then I have some yellow and white check and then we have some beautiful lace now this lace make sure i can't see what i'm doing really because i'm on the opposite side of the 
camera where the like the panel shows you so I'm doing the best I can so this lace right here was given to me by my friend Maria at Maria's Miscellany and then these trims here with the gold these oops these trims here with the gold were given to me by my friend Crystal at Vividly on Paper. The cotton is something that I had. This one I got at the thrift store, which was great. And I think that's about all that's in this tassel. So let me just show it to you from the bottom up. You can actually, let me back it up so you can see how long it is. Now these can always be trimmed. There we go. Oh, and here's the little hanger. I did it to, I think I did a tutorial. I'm pretty sure I did at least a semi tutorial and I broke down how I create a salt and pepper shaker tassel. Once my house is back in order, then I will do a true tutorial step by step on how I do a salt and pepper shaker tassel. So let me hold it up for you way back here so you can kind of see the scale of it. And here's the little hanger. So they're so fun to make, you guys. So I'll break that down for you if you have the patience to wait. Um, it's nothing I can get to right away because, like I said, the house is just, you know, um, it's, it's, it's wild in here right now. So anyway, I just wanted to share my cute little bear salt and pepper shaker tassel. It will be available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. Thanks for watching. See you soon.